I can honestly say that the team is more or less a family. It's more, those, those are my brothers. And the ball is up. The history of Choctaw stickball goes way back. In the Deep South, there were many other tribes. The territories were permanent, the villages were permanent. Each village had its own hierarchy, peace chiefs, war chiefs, councils. Heads of the clans were the uh, grandmothers. So to go to war was a, was a decision that wasn't made lightly. In order to go to war, war chiefs had to get the blessing from the clan mothers because it's their grandbabies you're taking to war. Instead of going to battle, we played ball. And that's the way they handled uh, a lot of the disputes down in the southeast. And that is also why they call it Little Brother of War. Sometimes there were hundreds of ball players out there playing on the field. And there's some reports of some goalposts being five miles apart. The game of stickball is, is a whole lot different than any other sport. We play this game not for anything else, but the, the honor in it is, is so so overwhelming. You know, most, most of us play for so much more than just ourselves. I mean, the team, you know, you represent Choctaw Nation, you represent Tushkahoma. When I step on that field, to me, it goes beyond that. Before the game, you know, you might be friends with other teammates on the opposing team, whatever, but when it comes to stickball and you step on that field and the only people that matter the most are the people that's standing next to you. And it's, uh, that's why it's called Little Brother of War. I like doing it because when I was a kid, it was, we did it all the time, but it was on the weekends. You go back to school on Monday, you don't talk about it. Now it gives them a chance to openly talk about it or express their culture or have other kids ask about their culture. They don't have to be ashamed of it. They don't have to hide it. It gives them that opportunity to talk about it. Being on the field is uh, pretty intense. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. It's just one of those things that you can do like skydiving or something. You, you never really don't know how to do it until you're actually out there. Getting that point when your team and the other team are tied up and you're desperately trying to get that final point. And then when you finally get that final point, everyone cheers. And that just, that's one of the good moments of stickball. And it just proves that if you work hard enough, you'll work to see. I play stickball because it, uh, it connects me with my culture. It's always been an important game all through our history. You know, at first it was there to settle disputes. Then it moved to more of just um, kind of like a social, you know, game to keep the community together. But then now we've converted it to a sport and it's, uh, it's a hardcore sport. We still play it with the same vigor and passion that we've done in the past. It's important to our culture and it's important to our identity as who we are as Choctaw people. I don't know, it's just, it's, it's intense. It's, it's kind of like a, a moment to yourself right before the game starts. You walk on the field, there's a lot of cheering. You get your lineup and you run to your position and right before the ball is first thrown up, there's just this moment that everything goes still, everything goes quiet and you have that moment to reflect in yourself. And then it's just like a car crash. That ball goes up and the intensity hits and it doesn't stop until the game's over.